Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis and this is for trading on May the 14th, 2021. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. So in terms of what we have coming up on Friday, uh, we have ECB, monetary policy meeting accounts. So here, what we are looking for is basically consistency um, in terms of the monetary policy. If they talk about changing anything um, in the comments, so that will have a, can have a, have an impact on Euro. So right now, not really expecting any kind of change. Bank of England has hinted at it. Bank of Canada uh, has done it. Fed is talking about it. So there, so over the coming weeks and months, this is something that we are going to see more often. But right now, I'm not really expecting much. But however, anytime there is a central bank um, meeting minutes or we are seeing uh, or actual bank meetings, so they don't actually generally, they don't announce changes in the meeting minutes. So this may not be as impactful, but we'll still have to keep an eye on any sort of verbiage that may hint at uh, changing the monetary policy, tightening the monetary policy, because that will be positive for Euro. But otherwise, if they keep everything the same, then uh, this will not have much of an impact. We do have retail sales numbers here from the US. So these numbers will be important. Now with the COVID situation changing in the US, there has been a lot of vaccination. The vaccination program has actually done quite well in the US. So with the increase in vaccination and different places opening up, so retail sales numbers, um, we'll see if they come in below expectations, that should be, that will be negative for the US. Uh, but but if they come in above expectation, that would actually be positive for the stock market. And therefore, US dollar will have to gauge the reaction because if the stock market goes up, US dollar could suffer as a result of that. But overall, retail sales numbers going up will be positive for the stock market. And therefore, we may not see much of a positive impact in the US dollar as a result of that. Um, and then coming up also, we have industrial production numbers here for the US um, and consumer sentiment numbers here as well. So consumer sentiment numbers should go up because of the um, of the vaccination and things opening up. So if it goes down, that would be negative. Uh, for the US dollar, but any kind of positive number here would be good for the US dollar. So not a ton of news coming up on Friday. All right, let's go on to our charts here. We'll start off with Euro dollar. So Euro here has dropped previously. And today's candle close is neutral. So we are seeing this pullback. So if price holds below 1.21, then we are looking for a continuation move to the downside here. So today we did see that price went all the way into 1.21 and it has held. So now we need to see a continuation to the downside. As long as it holds below 1.21, we're looking for a drop towards 1.2050 as the first target. And then second target here would be 1.2020. So bearish bias here for Euro dollar. Pound dollar here, this one also um, is, we did see a better drop here. So price did go into the support at 1.40 and then it bounced off from here. So in this case, price is into an important support level. So we do need to be a little bit more careful with this one here. Uh, we could see a move higher and if it holds below, then same thing. We're looking for a continuation move to the downside towards a 1.3920. So overall bias is neutral to bearish here for pound dollar. Aussie dollar here, this one dropped into our first target that we were looking at, and then we saw price bounce off of that. This one also has a neutral candle close here, so bias is neutral to bearish here. So looking for a bit of a pullback again into 0 0.7750 and then a drop from there. So as long as it holds below 0 0.7750, we're looking for a continuation to the downside. But once it passes through uh, this level here, then basically we're looking for a price to go back all the way up. And this big candle here is likely to get filled. 
so that's why 0 0.7750 is an important level here. So neutral to bearish, first target would be 0 0.7690 and then 0 0.7635. So neutral to bearish bias here for Aussie dollar. Um, New Zealand dollar here, this one has pulled back um, a bit here and it could go a little bit higher here towards 0 0.7200. And again, same thing here, if the price holds below this level, then we are looking for a turnaround. But this one has a little bit more bullishness in this. So if it goes through, we're basically back into the high once again. So neutral bias here, um, once it breaks 0 0.72, uh, I would watch out for this candle getting filled um, and a move through the uh, towards the high. So neutral bias, uh, 7200 zero, zero will be the um, the price to watch. So what's happening with this one is price is into the support. So this is the range essentially that price has been trading in and we are back into the range. So this shows rejection off the bottom, which means we could continue or we could see a continuance uh, towards the middle and the top of the range. So we will keep an eye on this neutral bias for now. Dollar cat here, dollar, dollar cat came into the resistance level. And the candle here isn't, still isn't very strong. There is bullishness in it, but we have a large pin on top, which gives it uh, that neutral bias because that shows rejection. So with this one here, bias is neutral here. What we need to see is does price, is it going to become range bound and go back um, into the range here? or will it go through the resistance, in which case we're looking for a move back towards 1.23. So right now, neutral to bullish. If it goes through the resistance, it turns bullish and we aim for 1.23. But if it holds below, then we're looking for uh, price to come back down into 1.2085 back towards the support level here. So right now, neutral to bullish bias and we'll keep an eye on it. Okay, let's take a look at our silver here. Silver looking bearish, uh, silver looking neutral here, neutral to bearish. So this is um, similar to Euro dollar. Uh, price got stuck into the resistance. We saw a drop, pull back, and now I'm looking for a drop. As long as it holds below 27.20, I'm looking for it to move lower. So neutral to bearish bias here for silver. All right, gold here. Gold seems to be becoming a little range bound here. Uh, so price has bounced off of the support level. And with this one here, we do need to keep in mind that price is into resistance currently here, or coming into resistance at 1830. So if it holds below 1830, we may see a similar move here um, to silver. But this is actually range bound here. So it could go all the way into 1845 here. So I'll watch out for that. So right now, bias is neutral for gold. Um, oil here, big drop in oil right into the support. So bearish bias. But do keep in mind, this is into the support of this range that it's been trading in for over a week now. So we need to see a break through the support for a continuation lower here. So right now bias is bearish. Just watch out for the support here because that could, uh, the support could cause it to go back into the range because uh, the range support is strong generally. Uh, so that's the that's something to be mindful, mindful of, but this is bearish, 80, sorry, 62 is the first target and then 60.50 is the first, uh, sorry, second target. Copper here, copper also looking bearish. So looking for it to move lower here. Um, in this case, the first target is 4.6 and then 4.55. So bearish buys for copper as well. Bitcoin here, Bitcoin had quite a volatile move here with uh, basically two things that have happened here that have caused it to drop. First is Tesla selling part of its uh, Bitcoin holdings. And now Tesla has announced that they will not be accepting Bitcoins for their cars, which has put downward pressure on Bitcoin here. So it's still bearish. 
So in this case here, price did bounce off of the support. However, it is still looking bearish and we are likely to see a further drop. Now it may bounce back up a bit, but it is looking bearish. So I'm looking for price to go back down. First target is 49, uh, 46,900. Uh, or let's say 47,000 and then 44,000. So bearish bias here for Bitcoin. S&P 500, this one has bounced um, off of the support. So I'm looking for a move slightly higher here towards 4150. And this is where we may run into trouble. So if price is not able to go through 4150, then we are looking for a move back down. So right now, um, neutral bias, uh, but I'm looking for a move higher towards 4150. And NASDAQ here, NASDAQ is, um, this one is looking neutral. We do have bullishness in here, but there's a large wick on the top, which suggests that uh, we don't have as much bullishness in this. So that makes it, uh, uh, that makes it, uh, neutral. So right now, uh, neutral bias, I'm looking for retest of 13,245-ish level. And then if it holds, we're looking for that continuation move lower. So bias here is neutral as well for NASDAQ. And then Dow Jones here also recovered after um, initial drop. We are back. I'm looking for a move higher towards 34,300. So it looks like a lot of people buying the dips here. Um, right now, looking for a move towards 34,300. And then if it holds below that, looking for a further drop uh, back towards the support level here, 33,580. So neutral bias for this one as well. I'm not overly bullish in terms of the, uh, the stock market right now. Uh, DAX here, DAX did drop all the way into the support and now we have a big bounce off of that. So looking for a move towards the top of the range here, 14, 15,400. So bullish bias here for DAX, but, or maybe I should say neutral to bullish because I'm look, still looking for that range bound move here for DAX. And then FTSE as well, it dropped initially like we expected, but then it has bounced back up. So I'm looking for a retest of this 70, uh, 70, 20 level, 7,020 level. And this is where we may get a decision point here. If it doesn't go through, we're basically looking for a drop back down. So right now though, first target is 70, 20. So looking for a slight move higher here. All right, so that's it for today. You guys have a wonderful trading day and tomorrow's Friday. So I will be back uh, with the weekly analysis on Sunday. Have a great trading day and I'll see you later. Bye for now.